Missing. Have you seen these people? Description. Ambitious young adults with shovels during a snowstorm who are looking to make money shoveling driveways. We were those people. Our kids are not. But it's time to own up, Generation X. Don't blame Xbox, PlayStation, or Wii. Blame yourselves and start using your snow boots because somebody needs a good swift kick in the ass and maybe it's you the parent. It's time we live up to the tough kid motto, back is the way forward. On snow days, you had to be the first one outside. There was plenty of competition to shovel your neighbor's driveway. The tough kid generation always put in a full morning's work before we went out to play. We knew what hard work meant. It meant one thing. We'd return home all rosy cheeked for lunch, our pockets bulging. Mom had a warm fire going where we'd hang our wet icy clothes, gloves, boots. Moms are great, making all of us hot soup, hot chocolate. Our dads were a different story. We'd hear such heartwarming things like, Stop coming in and out. You're letting out all the heat. We were like, We haven't been home all morning. He'd respond, Make it all afternoon, too. Life without adult supervision on a snow day? You didn't have to twist my arm. Every neighborhood in the town of Ramsey has their own place to go sledding. Hatches Hill, Hurricane Hill, the famous Sammy's Hill. Today, parents know where their kids are 24-7, but our parents couldn't have found us with the help of the state police. Can you describe your child, ma'am? He was wearing a down jacket and a wool hat. What was he driving? A flexible flyer sled? Where does he usually go? to some huge snowy hill with a cliff. Ma'am, you just described every child in the state of New Jersey. No snow day is complete until we challenge each other to a race down Suicide Hill. It's more like a mountain with big rocks and trees that can kill you. 
Somebody suggests teams of two on a sled, and the boys and the girls are put together. I'm matched with the prettiest girl from the neighborhood, red cheeks, blonde hair flipped out from under her pink wool cap. I lay on my stomach and grip the handles. She gets on my back and wraps her arms around my body, and away we go. All the other kids are older than us, but we break out into the lead, avoiding deadly trees, hitting bumps, flying in the air, laughing, and holding on to each other for dear life. And all this time, I can't stop thinking, I should be in geometry class right now, but instead, I have this little beauty pressed against me as we race down this dangerous mountain on a sled, beating the older kids. She cries out in my ear, we're winning, and it's that magical moment when you realize anything is possible in life. When we return home at the end of the day, our muscles are pleasantly exhausted, our bodies tested by nature. Many of us experience some kind of runner's high. Our bodies seem electrified from fighting off the cold all day with positive energy, with movement, with laughter. On snow days, old friendships are fortified, new friendships born. We now share an unexplainable experience. I glance out the window as the sun goes down, so satisfied that I have left my mark on the stronger forces of nature. But I am not done yet. I need to get outside one more time, and I must do it alone. After the sun sets, everything freezes back over. So I sneak outside into the crystal clear night, my world illuminated by starlight, bathing the snowy hills of Ramsey in blue. The frozen terrain crunches under my feet. The remains of the day are everywhere. Snowballs blasted against tree trunks. Boot prints, paw prints, sled tracks. Like signatures on a crowded yearbook page. It makes me happy and sad at the same time. Tomorrow, it will all be erased by sunlight and school bells. But for a brief moment in time, this frozen picture is evidence that we have been there and lived, completely carefree, innocent, happy. I take one last look back at the mounds of snow that we had shoveled, and it gives me a tremendous feeling of accomplishment. When I return home, they are watching TV and drinking hot chocolate. I have not been missed. I walk up the dark stairs and into my bedroom. My dogs are curled up waiting for me. There's a satisfying ache in my young muscles. With neighborhood chimneys smoking, rooftops blanketed in white, I crawl under my own blankets. Tomorrow is the promise of another day, but it won't be a snow day.